see artists doing sometimes, and sometimes I'll have students come into the studio that want to do this, is they will use gloves to prevent smudging. Now, I will say that we do have oils on our hands. Even if you wash your hands right away and then go to draw, you're going to have some oil that comes onto the surface of your skin that will get onto your drawing. And the gloves have a way of preventing those oils from getting onto the paper. So that theory is correct. However, a lot of times what I see are people using like winter gloves, like not the big bulky ones, but like just the little sweater ones that are comfortable to wear are those cute ones that um, girls wear where the fingers are cut off. And then sometimes people will actually cut off the fingers. So what I've purchased here are archival gloves. These are made from cotton and they are meant to not leave any acid on your paper. You can get these at some place like B&H Photo. Um, I'll put the link down below. Um, and they are meant to be used when you're at a museum holding materials that are in the collection that you don't want to get any oil onto. So like books, papers, prints, um, drawings, things like that. And what I did here was I cut off all of the fingers and the thumb, except for the pinky. And then I have a drawing down here. So let's take a look at the hand cam. And what I can do is use this glove. Now I have really I'm small, so these gloves are gigantic on me. Like you can see my finger in there is sort of like <laughs> way shorter and narrower than this glove is. So the bulk of it is probably part of what's gonna make everything a little bit more smudgy for me. But even if your hand were to fill this glove, if I were to start to work on this section over here and say I wanted to darken up around the rawhide and if I were to drag my hand without lifting, you can see as soon as I turn that over, do you see how smudgy that is? So the glove, oftentimes I think people think that it's preventing the smudging from happening, but really what's happening is that you're just wearing a dark cover glove, colored glove, so you can't actually see the smudges on it. As soon as you get these white archival gloves, you're gonna see that it doesn't really prevent any smudging, especially if your hand is dragging and you're putting that pressure on it while the motion is happening. So really this is not going to be a useful way for you to prevent smudging. If you do wanna prevent smudging, I'll link the videos that I have that show other tips for that. And um, those I think are more effective ways, not the glove. Hope this helps you guys out. Don't bother buying the gloves, just use some other methods.